Hello, you're welcome. I just saw this nice square root problem. Solution from here. And what we have here, we use two methods here. The first method from here, we can write what we have here as root 7 times 10, then plus root 10 divided by here also. We have root 7 times 10 minus root 10. Then from here, when we have root A times B, we can separate this as root A times root B, which implies also what we have here becomes root 7 times root 10 plus root 10 then divided by also here we have root 7 times root 10 minus root 10 then next step here we have root 10 common up here we factor it out and this becomes root 10 into brackets here we have root 7 then plus 1 left here divided by also here root 10 is common factor it out we have root 10 into bracket root 7 minus 1 left here which implies here root 10 cancelled each other all we have becomes root 7 plus 1 divided by root 7 minus 1 the next step here, we rationalize this sort and multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugates of the denominator. The conjugate sort of the denominator is root 7 plus 1. It's only the sign that changes. So use this now to multiply the numerator and denominator. And this, this becomes root 7 plus 1 multiply by root 7 plus 1 then divided by also here we have root 7 minus 1 multiply by root 7 plus 1 then from what we have here this follows when we have same thing multiplying a times a that's same thing as a squared that this here we can write this as root 7 plus 1 or square then divided by here yeah, follows when we have a minus b into bracket open bracket a plus b this same thing as a square minus b square that is difference of two squares that is same way root 7 here is a so we have root 7 square minus 1 is b that's 1 square then the expansion here follows when we have a plus b all square with the same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is, this becomes root 7 square plus 1 square plus 2 times root 7 times 1 divided by a yeah, square cancel square root. We have 7 minus 1 square does 1. And also here we have square cancel square root. We have seven plus one square that's one then plus two times root seven times one that's the two root seven then over seven minus one six. That is here yeah, we have seven plus one that's eight then plus two root seven over six. That is. We have two common here. When we factor it out, we have two into bracket. Here remain four. Then plus here remain root seven. Close bracket. Then over six here. At this here, two goes one and two goes here, three. That is what we have because four plus root seven over three. That is we have the simplified form of this given problem. As four plus root seven over three. Then let's use the second method as well. 
Now this from here, we can rationalize this directly. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate so there is root 70 plus root 10. It's only the sign here that change. Then use this now to multiply the numerator and denominator. Then what we have becomes root 70 plus root 10 multiply by root 70 plus root 10 then also divided by multiply this as well we have root 70 minus root 10 multiply by root 70 plus root 10 then when we solve this further also, what we have here follows when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. Same thing multiplying. You can write this as root 70 plus root 10 all squared. Then divided by, here also follows when we have a minus b into brackets, from bracket a plus b, which is the same thing as a squared minus b squared that is yeah this root 70 that's a root 70 square minus b square that's root 10 square then also here yeah, the expansion here follows when we have a plus b or square which is the same thing as a square plus b square plus 2 a b this here we have root 70 square plus root 10 square plus 2 times root 70 times root 10 divided by here we have square cancel square root it was 70 then minus also square cancel square root square cancel square root that's also 10 then solving for that here we also have square cancel square root here, that's 70 plus. Also, square cancel square root, that's 10. Then plus here, we can reverse when we have root A times root B. When we bring it together, we have root A times B. But this here becomes 2 multiplied by root 70 times 10, which is divided by. 70 minus 10, we have 60. Then, here yeah, we can write it as 70 plus 10 plus 2 root. 70 can be written as 70 times 10. Then we have times 10 here divided by 60 here. Then, also when we have root A times A, this same thing as A. Root 10 then stay here inside and take it out as 10. Then remain root 7 here. That is, we have 70 plus 10. Of course, 70 plus 10, we can simply add it. And that's 80. Then plus 2 times 10 here. Then remain root 7 over 60. Which implies we have 80. Plus 2 times 10, that's 20 root 7 over 60 here. Then, here we have 20 comma, we factor it out, and this becomes 20 into brackets. Here, I mean 4, then plus root 7 here, close brackets over 60 from here. At this here, 20 goes 1 and 20 goes here, 3. And what we have becomes 4 plus root 7 over 3, which is the same thing with what we have in the first method. And hence, we can conclude that the simplified form of this given problem is 4 plus root 7 over 3. And thank you for watching all the smart study math class don't forget this step subscribe
for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video with thumbs up put your comment and see you next class bye for now